Hey there, Louis Acabalis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hide and show columns in a SharePoint online list. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now in this video, I'm going to show you how to hide and show columns when you're working in the modern SharePoint experience, which is what you can see on the screen. And I'm also going to show you how to hide and show columns when you're working in the classic SharePoint experience. Now to start off, when working in the modern experience, the easiest way to hide and show columns on a SharePoint list is to click on the Add Column dropdown once you do this, at the very bottom of the list here, you're going to see Show and Hide Columns. If you click on this button, what this is going to allow you to do is it is going to allow you to just add a check mark next to the columns that you want to display on this list. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add Invoice Date, Invoice Year, Requester, and I'm going to go right to the top of my menu here and I'm going to click on the apply button and you'll see here that it has now added these columns to the list. Now again, if you want to hide or show columns right from the list, you just want to click on the add column button here and you want to click on show or hide columns. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uncheck invoice year and invoice month and I'm going to go ahead and click apply and it has now hidden those columns. So that's the first and easiest way to hide and show columns in a SharePoint list when working with the modern SharePoint experience. Now the next way that you can hide and show columns in a SharePoint list when working in the modern experience is through the actual view menu. So to get to the view menu you want to scroll up to the top of the list and you want to click on the switch view options drop down button right here and what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click edit current view and this is going to bring us into the place in the sharepoint list app that allows us to actually customize the view so you can see here in the columns group there are a series of columns here which represent the columns that you've created in your list and the default columns. If you want to hide or show columns, all you need to do is just again, check the checkbox to the left of the column. And if you check it, it means it's going to be displayed. And if you uncheck it, it means it's going to be hidden. So from here, I'm going to check invoice month, and then I'm going to check invoice year. And once you've checked all of the columns that you want to either show or hide, you want to scroll right to the bottom of this page and you want to go ahead and click OK. And you can see here that these columns have now been added, invoice month and invoice year. So that's how to hide and show columns when working in the modern SharePoint experience. Next, I'm going to show you how to hide and show columns when working in the classic SharePoint experience. All right, now you can see here that I am in the same list, but I've now switched to the classic experience. Now to hide and show columns while working in this classic experience, what you want to do is you want to scroll up to the top of your list and you want to click on these three dots. Next, you want to go ahead and click modify this view. And what you're going to notice is this will bring us into the same edit view page that we saw when we were working in the modern SharePoint experience. Now, it's the exact same steps to hide or show columns. If you want to show columns in your view, you want to ensure that the checkbox to the left of the column name is checked. And if you want to hide a column, then you just want to go ahead and uncheck them. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck invoice month and invoice year. And then again, once you want to actually commit these changes, you want to scroll to the bottom of this page and you want to go ahead and click OK. And you can see here that the invoice month and invoice year columns have been hidden. And again, from here, if I wanted to add them once more, I want to click on these three dots and I want to click on modify this view. 
And in the column group, you want to go ahead and check the columns that you want to display. So I will check invoice month and year and then scroll to the bottom of this page and click OK. And you can see here that those two columns have been added. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how to hide and show columns in a SharePoint list. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Acobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.